Hello everybody and welcome back. Last time we looked for the commander in the forest of Norus and we discovered that he is searching for the Dark Elf in order to destroy New Arcadia. But he managed to elude us. This time we're going to do a couple more missions and see what we can learn. So we have three missions remaining. But out of the three, uh, I would say that Leviathans and Fefnir are actually quite short, so maybe we can get them both done in this episode. This is a redundant factory, but I guess they reconstructed it, and it was working on a small scale. Why this place, anyway? What did El Paiso go to this factory for? I don't understand. Still, one thing I'm certain is that it's too dangerous to act alone. Please, stop me. I wish you good luck. Zero, stay alert. All right, so here we are back at Phoenix Magnion's stage. Only we now actually get to explore a different section of it. So. For these stages I'm going to mostly be using the defense form, especially since the guardians all have elemental weaknesses. So taking them out that way isn't that difficult. And also, the the hot iron right here, if we hit them with a the freeze chip, we can actually touch them. So that is one way to avoid damage. And right here, right next to the pipe, we have a hidden room, and we also have a cyber elf container. And also, make sure to take out a couple of these because they drop a cyber elf right there. And right here, we have, I believe, the a big health container and a life hidden be behind that pipe. And this is actually the trickiest per section of this particular level. I always have some trouble in not getting either instantly killed or taking a bit at, at least some damage from it. But with that, we're pretty much done with the toughest part of the level. Really? Alright, here we go. Oh! You must be Zero! What? That's actually a really weird line coming from Fefnir. Haha, <laughs> I'm so glad to see you again. I was chasing a guy named El Paiso. You know him, right? Ha <laughs> ha I am lucky to meet you here. Now, let's start. Let's do it now! Here I go! Alright, so... 
out of the three guardians, I would say that Fafnir is the second toughest. But his EX skill is, in my opinion, the toughest one to avoid. And he's doing it right now. There we go. Ah, ah. That was really fun. Thank you, Zero. I enjoy a challenging fight like this. Next time, let's go for even more. See ya! Alright, let's see how we did. Nice score. And of course, we got the EX skill of Fevner. We got the blast shot. He seems to have stolen a transport from the factory. It is true that you cannot travel to New Arcadia by a portable trans server, but El Paiso does intend to sneak into New Arcadia alone. Yeah, like we did in the first game. Anyways, before we take on the next mission, we got a new EX skill. The Blast sh Shot. So of course we need to equip the Flame Ship. And yeah, we get a an explosive shot with a wider range, so it's it's nice. So we didn't actually unlock any new forms, and that is because the two remaining forms we cannot really unlock until, well, one of them we only unlock by beating the game, and the other one we will have to go into new game plus, I guess. So for now we will not be unlocking any new forms. That being said, let's go ahead and take on Leviathan. This is New Arcadia's computer facility, in Antarctica. We have destroyed most of it, but some of the systems are still alive. El Paiso seems to be trying to find out the secret code to go into the facilities in Neo Arcadia. I wonder if he intends to break into Neo Arcadia alone, like we just discussed. Sure, let's go. I wish you good luck. Zero, can you hear me? It seems you cannot enter in through the facility. You need to enter from the outside. Stay alert. Alright, so for this particular mission we're going to be mostly using the Sea Saber. And right from the start here we have a Cyber Elf container. And also, that small mine right there, it actually counts as an enemy, and if you take out enough of them, they do drop a cyber. So I'm going to destroy them instead of simply dodging them. Luckily, even though we are we don't deal as much damage without the with the defense form, the ten show sun deals a decent amount of damage. Especially if we boost it with the flame chip. Alright, there goes another cyber elf. Also, the floating bomb also technically counts as an enemy, and if we destroy enough of them, they will drop a cyber elf as well. As well as these snowball throwing enemies right here. Yep, there we go.
There we go. So I believe we are really only missing one Cyberf, and it's the one right there. If I can just get it, there we go. Alright, so for this next section we have a handful of mines everywhere on the floor. So we mostly want to avoid them by sliding down the walls. Well, not like that, but like this. There we go. And here we are. As I was saying, these two missions are quite short in comparison to the Forest of Norus and Arpuya's stage. Hello, Zero. It's nice to see you again. I love to play with you, but unfortunately I have no time. As soon as I defeat you, I have to take care of Commander Alpaisa. So, let's go, Zero! Here we have Leviathan, which I would say is the easiest of the Guardians to take in combat. Though they're all fairly easy, to be honest. The toughest one I would say was Phantom, but he died, so... Alright, there we have the X-Kill. Come on, one more, one more hit. There we go. While playing with you, El Paiso went somewhere. I got caught up in the fun of the moment. How foolish of me. Your strength drives me crazy. Next time, I'll do better. So, see you again. Alright, let's see how we did. 94, nice. And of course we got the EX skill of Leviathan. We got the Sharp Edge. El Paiso seems to have acquired the secret code. The secret code can unlock a door to the highest security area in New Arcadia. I guess the Dark Elf is sealed there. Alright. So we took two of the three Guardians. We'll go over the new EX skill and thing, and as well as the new Cyber Love that we obtained. And I think that will be all for now. So we got the Sharp Edge, which you can perform by simply pressing down while at attacking with the C Saber, like this. But. Since we got it from Leviathan, if we equip the Ice Chip, it does look different and deals Ice damage. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we'll go over the new Cyrelf and that'll be all. Next time, we'll take on Arpuya and see if we can finally catch up to Alpaisa. See you guys then. Jetta is a medium animal cyberelf, it has no duplicates, it requires 300 energy crystals and its effect increases your running speed and it has a permanent point deduction of 5 on the first stage that it is used and then 2 for any further stages.